If there's one song that I really think I listened to the most when I was a teenager, I think it might have been this one. It's a patron vote winner. The theme was drama. And it comes yeah. from actually the soundtrack of a movie. So pretty dramatic, I'd say. Let's go. You turn my guitar on. Wow. I don't know if it's really raining or not. I guess it is. And I'd give up forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven I'll ever be And I don't want to go home right now Cause all I can taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life so when sooner or later it's over and I just don't want to miss you tonight I think this has such a gorgeous melody it makes me realize that I was such an angsty like young young woman being like oh the melody I don't think we get as much melody now in in pop and rock and um it has that kind of old school feel I know that he said he got his inspiration from people like Kiss and The Cure and that just helped him understand melody as a whole but this song was inspired and written for the movie soundtrack of City of Angels and also it's kind of interesting because so was uninvited by Alanis Morissette and they came up with the song on the same day I think so the tale goes two amazing songs from one movie thank you Nicolas Cage You can't help but sing along to this song. It's so fun. It's just like one that you want to sing at the top of your lungs. Um, so the name Iris, actually an interesting reason it's called Iris. He saw the name Iris de Mont on a concert listing and um, then thought, right, I'm going to call the song that. Okay, I'm going to listen to his vocals now. <laughs> You can't fight the tears that ain't coming Or the moment of truth in your lies So when everything feels like the movies Yeah, you plead just to know you're alive And I don't want the world to see me So actually on that don't, he was slightly flat and I've noticed a couple of moments and I just want to talk about that as it's not a bad thing. I think people can really uh, poo-poo artists. It's like the slightest amount. And I just wanted to talk about the humanity of vocals. I don't mind when people have the odd flat moment because I think that we all do. And um, I'm sure you will too. <laughs> I don't, uh, if you are never flat, oh my God, you must be a genius. Um, but I think it's important to point out so that we can all just feel happier in ourselves. <laughs> I'll talk about why in a minute as well. So if um, I was working on this with the people, I, I normally would make sure that they were getting it in a little bit more of a mixed place. There's quite a lot of chest voice and that is quite heavy and quite a lot of tension. But that sound also gives it its drive and energy and that feeling of just complete 
hopelessness or wanting to give up your whole self for a person it gives that that sort of feeling so that's what I'm saying there's pros and cons um it could be tiring if you had to sing that song all the time you have to really listen to your own voice um there are ways to make that feel very clean very easy it depends on what you want from that sound really Saying things are right or wrong, you know? But there are easier ways, for sure. It's really clever because you've got the hooks in the guitar riffs, in the melody, in the instrumentation and in the vocals. It's so, so many hooks that your brain has always got something that you can both sing along to and um, listen to and find interesting. Interesting enough yet simple enough at the same time. Changes in tempo and dynamic range. I want you guys to take this one home, all right? <laughs> Woo! That was right on pitch. He's using a really clever tool as well of using a really strong consonants and I don't want to let the air build up behind that D and really punches it. Everything. Duh. If he if you do that, then you don't need to use as much strain, as much push. You can use that consonant instead to really spit out uh, the lyrics and that gives it energy without you having to try as hard. Slide up the end. So interesting. You got woo -woo 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 -woo. This is the best fourth of July ever. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. Give yourself some love. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> you have no idea how much we love you. One of the things that they do really well is adding that humanity to the music without over singing things. It all comes from emotion and human connection. That's why it doesn't matter if things are slightly off pitch, even though they're, it's the smallest amount. Um, but things like um, allowing that to slide off the end instead of um, which feels really like beautiful and sung. But for this sort of music, you want it to feel like it's just flowing out of you. You don't want it almost too controlled. So there's purposeful moments of not control to make it sound really, really human and really emotionally real. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.